back to the Daily Rundown. I've been rejoined by Stephen Armstrong and Stu Tolan. Uh, before the break, you heard music from the fantastic Maybe Frank. And if you want more information, go to maybefrankmusic.com. But it is something to say time now. And this is where the floor is open to my fantastically opinionated guests. They're going to tell us something that might have caught their attention this week or they might have a little rant or they might feel the need to just express themselves in some way. Maybe not with a full album released on Tidal, but <laughs> as you express yourselves as you see fish. Who are, who's going first this evening? How did you work with your first? Sorry, yeah, okay. How does it work? One, two, three. Ah, ah scissors. I bloody you, your you scissors. I'll best go of three, best of three, best of three. Mine is I want to give away intricate details of everything that happened on Game of Thrones. Uh oh. That's a lie. I okay. want to talk about Game of Thrones, but what I want to talk about is that Carefully. I live. I've yes. seen it actually. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, yes, I'm, I'm aware of the, 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 the danger that I take in, in my life in my own hands. The issue I want to talk about is that I find myself in the really um, awkward situation of I've read all of the books. And I've seen the TV show. Right. So I'm up to date in both worlds. Right. And it really frustrates me because I now don't know. I have this really weird thing where there are some friends I can talk about what happened in the books and some friends I can talk about what happened in the TV show. Because right. obviously it came back, it came back uh, this series. Uh, and the first episode was called The Red Woman. Uh, and that is not a spoiler because it's a matter of public fact. And that is all of the information I'm going to give you about it's that. Difficult. So it's very Fifty Shades of Grey. It is. It is uh, as rumored. A, yes, yes. Rumor. As I've said, uh, it's, it's very much <laughs> like, as I say, like Lord of the Rings, but with the the, the free ten minutes you get every night on those on those channels that you Hello. Know, isn't meant to make you look at. Oh. Uh, but it is just. I think. It's just confusing for me because I'm left in this world where there are some people I can talk to about one thing and some people I can talk to about another thing, and it's just talk I think to nobody. That, yes, but that wouldn't work as a guest <laughs> on a TV show. <laughs> no. um, but I, I, it, I think that they should either be like the books or they should just say, right, we're going to be completely different because now you have people who have information on certain things and in the TV show there are people who are alive that aren't alive in the books and there are people who have not been in the TV show that have so been in the books. So are you books. saying, now I'm in danger here of committing to this and maybe drawing yes. you out, but uh, so is, are, are, is the programme not entirely accurate so it's not representative of the book? It's, well... Uh, we, we had this conversation. I had this conversation today, and talking about whether it's accurate and referring to a TV show where there are dragons uh, <laughs> is something that we do a debate. I think it's just it seems to be that, that this frustration that either I think we should, what I'm saying is we should either stop the TV show until George R R Martin has written all of the books so that people can read all of the books and know what happens and then go right okay, because it's in danger of just becoming another Lost where you just get, the, they can just sort of go, yeah, well, this happened, and then what I like to refer to as the charmed theory, which is when they paint themselves into a corner and they go, ah, no, but if a pig rides past the castle on a Thursday playing <laughs> in excess's Suicide Blonde on, okay. on 33 representation, and then, then that's it. it. It just seems to be, I just, it, what I'm basically, as most of my something to say is, ah, it's, it's just, the world should just be more like I want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too much to no, ask. Exactly, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Really? I'm an only child from a single parent family. My mum told me I was special <laughs> and the world is refuting this allegation and I'm not happy about it. Fair enough. Yes, but yeah, Game of Thrones is just frustrating. Either, and, and also, don't spoil. No, don't spoil. Don't wow. spoil. Yeah, There's a few no. of them, but some of the newspapers, um, I, I don't know, I think it's Daily Mail do it quite like, oh, spoiler, and here's the spoiler in its headline. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. I can put the spoiler <laughs> before the spoiler where I can see it and everything. It's so stupid. Yes, no that's like saying it's like the... the I, I, we're living under a threat of a spoiler at any second. Well, that's it. It's, it's like the old the sort of the TV, the, the football scores, and they say, so for those who don't <laughs> want to know the scores, look away now, and then they tell you about them, and you're like, well, if you're looking away, you can still hear. That's how the senses work. <laughs> no, I think that that's on the person watching the TV to make that is it? You know, okay, I don't yeah. feel sorry for someone whose, whose scores get ruined that way no. uh, but it was a good good relating back to Lost as well yes. though I would, I would be sad if Game of Thrones went down that kind of flapping about you know trying to keep its head afloat that's right, it that yeah just kind of like I've, I've never out. watched Game of Thrones I watched Lost for a while can you actually understand Game of Thrones because Lost what well, I don't no idea what happened there yeah, Game of Thrones did anyone actually it? figure that out in the industry well show? I think that, that, that Lost I well I, I dipped in I watched it it looked crazy I, I thought they were all in, in some kind of holding area right. and then and from what I can understand, it 
took six series and they were in some kind of holding area. Yeah. And that was a poll. It was a money spinner. It did yeah. ruin it in the end. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a good, that's a yes. good thing of those two programs. I really would hate to see Game of Thrones going that way. But good, yeah. you haven't spoiled anything. No, no. excellent. Yes, there nice you go. One. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> Thanks for that. Stu, what's your something to say tonight? Well, my something to say is I just want to bring some happy news to the world. Because, yeah. you know, like on the radio, so often you hear bad news on TV. There's always bad news. There's so much bad news going. And I saw this story today and it made me happy. And it was about a grandma. She was 100 years old and her daughter, our granddaughter was getting married. Um, the granddaughter decided to hold the wedding on the 100th birthday of the grandma. And the grandma said that's amazing dear there's only one condition I want to be the bridesmaid oh, and there she is there's Martha him. 100 and there's Vita the bride there and she was the head bridesmaid and technically she is Britain's oldest bridesmaid and by looking at that photo isn't she a wee cutie that she is, is the cutest yeah. thing ever and she there. looks good she looks good as and, it well. was her, and it was her call she's like if you're doing this dear listen I'm going to be <laughs> a bridesmaid yeah. Yeah. it's a risky move taking your, your nana to a wedding it is taking her at all well, you, you know grandmas <laughs> in general they get excited dance on tables the gym flowing you know they always get out of control so grandma and your dad you have to watch it they could be the guest the best crack i think though the kind of that older generation at a wedding they're oh, the absolutely. ones who are sitting especially an irish one they're the ones sitting up in the residence bar yeah. when everyone's gone to bed you oh, know singing absolutely. songs yeah. and rolling yeah. that stealing that a prison on the way out and yeah. martha's already sat down so she's already ready for the end of the evening where everybody's just a little tired yeah and they've they've really danced their little legs off yeah uh, but they don't want to draw a line yet no they no don't draw a line. Yeah. And, you'll and never also, have this day again yeah and she covers the something old uh right, for, the, yeah. for the wedding as well she's wearing something blue too yeah true blue she, hair. She, she's basically yeah she's, she's got a blue just, rinse yeah, that's yeah. It, yeah do you reckon that that was the agenda then maybe she's just like oh what am i going to do you this is grand you know nana will just cover that something old something well, blue yeah. i'm technically boring her yeah <laughs> the exactly, wheelchair's yeah. new there we go Took it's, it's a very very cute story it is it just made me happy today and it made me feel good and you I know. mean, I feel like she probably fell down with some of the bridesmaid duties, though. Yeah, right, yeah. She may so she has Can you imagine on the hens mean? night? The hens night down, you know, the <laughs> gate locks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tying all the all the kind of uh, sorted you know paraphernalia to it. I just and as we were Phallics. speaking, Martha, what a good name! Well, yeah. Beautiful name. It's like, Let's bring it back. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know anybody under? Well, what, what would be the cutoff? Do you think a hundred? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody under? No, Martha. I think Martha is a nice name that needs well, to come Fiona, back. Fiona, we, we didn't think about this till before the show, and you brought it up. You know, maybe yeah. something you'd call your your, your firstborn. And yeah. Then, uh, yeah. You think about it. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah. It's a good name. Martha. Let's get that agreed on television <laughs> right now. Right. That's uh, it. Someone wait, please call me. Yes. yes, that is a good name. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, so, so the bridesmaid, yeah, sorry, I want to talk about the bridesmaid mm. duties. I guess she's fallen down on. I'm feeling like you said the hen party there as well. Yeah. Also, big bridesmaid duty, sort of unofficial, is to cop off with one of the groomsmen. Right. So let's um, hope. Let's yeah. hope what? I hope she did or she didn't. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose. I don't know now what way I feel about it. I was going to say not. But actually, Martha should. Why shouldn't she? she and should. Martha seems like a kind of cool kind of girl, you know? She, she, she does. I mean, if she is, she's rocking the balloons. She's rolled she's, in there. She is, yeah. And, and she's taking it well because somebody stepped on her 100th birthday. Somebody's got, she, she could have gone, uh, no. Uh, you can get married lots of times because we all know about your. I'm not you, Fiona, but you know, the, the, Martha could say to her granddaughter, "Well, you, Missy, will get married a lot of times, where I am only going to be a hundred once." Because that's, that's really how numbers work. Oh, hey. That's it. She yeah. is only going to be a hundred once, though. That's fair yeah, that's enough. True, that's true. Is, yeah. That's a really good point, actually. Though. I think it was really unselfish. Of, of Martha to, to sort of, you know, let them have the wedding on that day. I wasn't even considering from that point of view. Yeah. I was thinking, what a lovely, unselfish bride letting the older woman come in and all. <laughs> How horrible am I, like, like assessing the situation? Or has Martha just got a free party? Well, there we go. <laughs> See, the oh, Martha is, she's both kind, good, We've and decided cunning. this, by the way. That's yeah. what she is, yeah. We've decided this. We've just totally put this on. Yeah, For yeah. all we know, she forced her to do it. She said, you're not no. having a wedding unless I'm the bridesmaid. Uh, she, I'm gonna, I want to be the chief bridesmaid as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been bridesmaid 53 times. <laughs> In fact, I heard that Martha actually only did it to cover up the fact that she was robbing a bank <laughs> that day. It's Martha. all some kind of massive Martha. cover up. Yeah. Everyone's a winner, isn't it? Because no one wants a bridesmaid that looks better than the bride, clearly. Can we see the photo again? Yeah. Clearly she hasn't clipped that ticket. Um, she's beautiful though, so everyone's happy, it's it beautiful. Is, but some people don't like even having to have, you know, though, you know, so say for example, maybe you have to have the groom's sister as your bride, just because he's saying, oh, I've only got one sister. That didn't happen to me, that sounds like. No, Oh, there she is, look at her. No, 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 no. like I was being beautiful. bitter, you know, some people. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Fiona's something to say. No, but it happens the other way around as well, doesn't it? You know, maybe you have to have, you know, um, 
the, uh, the brother of the, the bride's mm. brother as a groomsman or something like this. So people don't always take too well to kind of having those that yeah. force on their, 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 their bridal party. That's so they, 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 this bride did well. Yeah. And kind of living to a hundred. Like, I can't even well, imagine. Sorry, that's the big story, isn't it? I can't imagine yeah. living to a hundred. Well, well, not the way I live my But well, we all will it? now. Isn't that the whole, you know, science and paleo diet and coconut <sighs> water? Yeah, that coconut water. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's healthy. You'll get to 100. I've I've never, never, I had I've coconut never, water before. I've never, heard, I've never heard coconut water be, heard, be used as an accusation. <laughs> I put it to you, Stu. <laughs> coconut water. Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. Oh, thanks very much for something to say. Uh, some things to say this evening, guys. We're going to go for our last break of the evening. And we're going to come back with the slightly more unusual stories of the day. Don't go anywhere.